Dave Martin here with Alaskan Brewing Company, and today we're going to do something a little unique. Now, I lived in the South for about 10 years, and one of my favorite dishes down there was chicken and waffles. So today we're going to do something that puts a twist on that classic dish with white ale, duck, and waffles. We're going to start with the uh, white ale simple syrup, and that takes one can of Alaskan white ale. into your saucepan with half a cup of granulated sugar. Let's put that on medium heat, raise this to a bit of a simmer. It's going to foam up on you, so you got to pay extra attention to it. So this is now at a simmer, and you're going to let this go until the volume reduces by about half, uh, about 30 minutes, maybe even up to an hour. Um, now, while this is simmering, boiled beer, just so you know, doesn't smell very good. But trust me, the end product is going to be wonderful. You just got to get through that middle process. <laughs> All right, while the syrup is simmering, we've got some time to work on the waffles. Uh, so let's start in. You're going to get two cups of all-purpose flour. One teaspoon of salt. Three teaspoons of baking powder. And two teaspoons of baking soda. And let's whisk that together. Take another saucepan, put it on low heat. We're just gonna melt four tablespoons of butter. And while that's melting, let's grab one cup of white egg and one cup of whole milk. All right, the butter is melting, so let's put together two eggs, one quarter cup of sugar, and a teaspoon of vanilla. All right, the butter is melted, so let's go ahead and add the milk and white ale mixture, whisking this in. I'm gonna raise the heat a little bit, and we're gonna let this start to bubble, but don't let it boil. Cool. Okay, it's just starting to bubble, so let's go ahead and take it off the heat and bring it over to our egg and sugar mixture. And we're gonna add this extremely slowly. Because we don't want these eggs to cook. And final step of this batter is to add the liquid portion onto the dry mix. And mix that all together. And finally, we can zest a little bit of orange into it. Okay, get your uh, waffle iron preheated. Spray a little cooking spray on there. And make your waffles. All right, my waffle iron takes about three and a half minutes for these to be perfectly golden brown. Beautiful. All right, the waffles are done, the syrup is done, the waffles are in the oven just keeping warm, so now let's put our attention onto the duck. Now what I have here is a mallard and a widgeon, 
Both of these were taken uh, out on the wetlands here in Juneau. Now duck doesn't have the best reputation sometimes, but these wild birds are hands down some of the most delicious cuts of meat you'll ever have. The best way to cook these, hot, fast, and rare. The minute you overcook duck, it starts to get a little livery, which is probably why it doesn't have the best reputation. Add a little bit of butter. Get that melted. Now it's time for your ducks. Skin side down to start. Duck. It is smoking this house up real nice. <laughs> All right, they're off the skillet. I let them rest for a couple minutes. Now let's crack in to this mallard. See how we did. Oh, that's perfect. Nice and rare on the inside. Lovely. All right, so the syrup has reduced about 50% or more. Looks pretty good. So we're just gonna hit it with a little bit of orange zest to finish it off. Not much, a little bit goes quite a long way. And we'll take it off the heat. Ooh, mighty fine. And that, folks, is white ale, duck, and waffles. Mm. <laughs>